Hi, this is a photo uh, taken on Mars in 2005 by the Spirit Rover. Uh, it's a picture at Gusov Crater of a little rocky outcrop called uh, Longhorn. And behind uh, this outcrop, way in the distance, you can see uh, the uh, rim of Gusov Crater. Now this is a wonderful picture, uh, basically showing uh, a little rocky uh, outcrop, but uh, contained in this photo, as in most of Mars photos, uh, is a wonderful uh, information of the life living on Mars. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to zoom in and uh, go into some of these details but uh, prior to that I want to forewarn uh, anyone who's offended uh, or shocked by uh, apparent evidence of life on Mars and even uh, evidently uh, what we would consider paranormal evidence uh, to please uh, leave because uh, in this photo are uh, just that so uh, be forewarned and uh, all those who wish to continue do so, and all those who wish to leave, please do, please do so now. Um, all right, so I'm going to zoom in, and we'll zoom in on this object here, which to me is um, a wonderful uh, picture of something, and uh, to me it uh, it's almost like a... Uh, Martian version of uh, like an armadillo, but uh, it clearly has uh, shape uh, and uh, what appears to be a head uh, and some legs. And there it is. I'll just point that out. And then I'm going to go over to here and I'll point out three objects of the same species, if you will. And uh, most of these objects uh, appear to be uh, within the Martian soil or sand or dust or what it, whatever's there. Uh, but this is one here. Uh, you can clearly see an eye and it has a, a nose and a body shape there. And this is another one here. Same type. Here you go. One, two. And then we'll go up to a third one, and we'll zoom in here. And there's the third one there. So here we have three pictures of the same uh, living life form in this photo. And then I'll zoom in on some other ones that are really fascinating. Now this one here appears to be merging, emerging uh, from a protected area, as as a lot of these life forms uh, appear to be, and I'll zoom in on that one. Now you can clearly see an eye. It's got a mouth. Uh, it's almost like a beak type structure, and it appears to be uh, merging from this protected area here. And let me zoom out. And then we have some objects back here. I just wanted to point them out. You can download this photo. Uh, directly from the Mars website and you can do your own investigation but these are things that I found uh, had structure uh, eyes uh, uh, head mouth and we're gonna go over to here where I found a very interesting this is almost like Mars Jambalaya uh, these are sh uh, shrimp-like and crab-like objects, which is, uh, which is fascinating. And here's another little object here. appears to have arms, legs, and a head. And this is almost, a, almost like it looks like a lobster. It, it, this actually looks almost uh, from prehistoric times. Uh, where we, you know, you would go into a, like a museum of natural history and you would see objects like this from long ago. But here it is. Uh, it appears to have claws and uh, some kind of mouth structure. Really fascinating. 
and this here appears to be almost like a snake like object coming from back in this area it looks to have some kind of body structure coming out this way and it appears to have its uh, mouth open and maybe some eyes right there and let me pull back and this is really the uh, most fascinating uh, portion of this outcrop and I'm going to zoom in now on Mars uh, apparently uh, you have organic life forms which are uh, native to the planet uh, in terms of their composition uh, in other words they have a uh, just like here on earth uh, organic life is composed of the elements from the earth and I think on Mars uh, there is no different but in addition to that evidently there is a uh, another side to Mars it's almost like a fourth dimensional uh, area of life uh, that uh, is is photograph photographable I mean uh, it's in the photographs and <coughs> what I'm going to be pointing out now is evidence of that and that's why I find this photo so delightful uh, but before I do that I just wanted to point out numerous uh, objects of the same uh, type and color and here is one two three uh, maybe four five six and maybe seven so these all appear to be the same color they appear to have eyes uh, maybe some ear ear type structures uh, but clearly visible uh, clearly the same color same body shape and uh, here they are in the photograph and then uh, what I really wanted to show uh, is these objects here which I found absolutely delightful now this this information is in the photograph uh, and what I've done is is I've been able to uh, resolve uh, the shapes um, and uh, anyone can download these images and do their own investigations but uh, this is what I found in this photograph which is in uh, many photographs of, on Mars these appear to be translucent um, life forms in other words uh, here they are you can see eyes you can see a head shape ears nose uh, body you could see an arm here, legs, and they're just sitting here. Here's another object <coughs> which has a little uh, bit different shape. And then uh, you ha we have some other like face, face like objects here. Uh, but these are translucent. I mean, you, you can see through these objects. And these are almost like, uh, you know, what we would consider like pixies or uh, any other kind of. Uh, interesting um, it's a, it, it really is transcendental uh, in terms of you know we've never seen this on earth but here we have a machine that we've sent to another planet taking pictures of these things so here they are just sitting right there I'll zoom in and if anybody wants a screenshot of that they can take it I'll zoom back out and Mars never disappoints. Mars is an absolutely fascinating place. Uh, the thing about Mars is is that it's it's another planet, and uh, whatever is on Mars uh, is native to Mars. And obviously, it has nothing to do with our experiences here uh, on Earth. We can't apply Earth metrics to an extraterrestrial planet, so what we're seeing here is truly on another planet and it's uh, it's delightful what I'm seeing and it, and it obviously it's it uh, can be very disturbing for other people uh, and then one more this appears to be another uh, energetic object that is actually uh, in motion I believe and it, it has this swirling motion that appears to have come from this area I just wanted to 
uh, bring that out and and bring attention to its location in this photograph uh, so other individuals can investigate it on their own but I, I found this motion this energetic motion uh, and uh, there apparently is some facial uh, features here and under the ultra high definition um, uh, technologies available uh, this is the location in the photo for those who uh, want to investigate so let me pull back and this is the photo this is a wonderful delightful photo um, and uh, it dis displays essentially uh, almost a crustacean uh, type life in addition to that we have these uh, I don't know if we would call it etheric, but definitely transparent um, life form objects here in the photograph. And they're just, they're just sitting here on this ledge. Now, it's no accident <coughs> that this rover is taking pictures <coughs> of this area. It has instrumentation, and it's <coughs> able to pick out... Uh, it has, uh, you know, thermal sensors, uh, spectrometers. Uh, so, you know, the, the rovers are taking pictures of these areas for a reason. And obviously, uh, what we're seeing here is the reason. So let me just, I'll leave you with this uh, image here, which I find wonderful. And... Um, I'll leave it at that. So God bless, and I'll post um, other amazing photos uh, very shortly. Thank you.